Simon. Welcome, part seven. Jib, the vampire bar girl. Previous episode, we talked about how Jib was becoming a money machine. Quick recap, if you're joining it here, you should go back to part one. <laughs> yeah, just go back to part one. <laughs> Jib, time for a partner possibly. She's getting very clever, the tribe are teaching her. A couple of the tribe girls live in houses, but Jib is living in that room above the cafe, sharing a room. She doesn't like that. It's time for her to hatch a plan. What does she need? She needs a guy younger than her that she can manipulate, control. More than likely she'll have to use her body to do that. She needs a man that works nights, preferably, because that's when most of her work comes in. She needs someone with a weak mind that can give her accommodation that she would prefer. So a candidate is needed. Sure enough, it doesn't take her long. She's thinking about it, weeding out different customers a young gentleman is a customer. He's 24 and he's called John. John works in Tesco's, a supermarket. He works nights and he's a shelf filler. He's on an average salary. He lives at home at this moment in time with his elderly mother, no other family. Jib thinks about it. This guy could be right. He seems weak-minded. He's the target. But before we go into this new target and the next step, there's a hole in the story that's bugging me and maybe you. I keep thinking about the money her former husband, one day to be ex, gave her 500,000 baht for the sin sod money to go to her parents for bringing her up and she never passed that money on and that is bugging me why didn't she Peter never met her parents never went to her village doesn't even know where the village is it keeps bugging me so to answer this we have to go back in time to fill this hole in back to the beginning where Peter met Jib in a Chiang Mai beer bar. Now at the time he thought she was 19, almost 20. When they settled and got her passport, he found out she was only, well, 17 at the time he met her, just turned 18 at the time she got her passport. 18, so what happened before she was 18? Her life, what did she do? Why? Did she not introduce the village to Peter and the family? At the age of 15, Jib left home and went and worked in the bar scene at 15 with a false ID in Patea. Mm. Within the first few months of her working there, shall we say she landed a Norwegian guy, don't know his name, very old, late 70s, potentially possibly early 80s, and hooks him, uh, just like she did with Peter. I don't know all the details, but I do know that he took her out of the bar scene to her village, met the family, now he had no family and his health was not good. It's the dream catch for possibly for a girl. And along that path, they got married in the village and also got married in Bangkok officially. She was married before Peter officially in Bangkok registered. 
apparently within the first year of their marriage the Norwegian built a house in the village we've heard this so many times before a European style four or five bedroom house and um, from the information I've got it is probably then three million baht so today it's probably five or six million baht's worth sadly he left this world and Jib got the lot well there wasn't much money from what I can make out but she got the house that is why her family are in that house, living in that house. That's why she never sent the money. She's already got a nice house. If she'd have shown Peter this nice house and the family, it would have been totally different. So she, at a very early age, got lucky and got a house. That's why she followed the path. Why she ended up in Chiang Mai working, I don't know. Never found out. But that's the path she started on right at the age of 15 and she so 16 she 16 17 she landed a house that's like the jackpot yet she still came back for more so it's built into her already at a young age now back to the present day the tribe has just enhanced it all and taught her so many more things she's becoming a vampire sucking the life out of people in the form of money or emotions. John, the new target. <clears throat> she works on him, he's a regular. He's coming in every week. She gets him out of the cafe and goes on a couple of dates with him. Gives him some freebies. And starts indicating to him that she likes him a lot but she would love to be boyfriend girlfriend but not living at her his mum's and he couldn't live at the cafe she sort of said to him if you can get a flat I think we can become boyfriend girlfriend mm. his mum's elderly she's not well but providing he visits regularly takes care of her, which he does part time he could still do this she won't be very happy the mum probably but he's being driven here by a part of his anatomy not his brain yep you got it he goes and finds uh, just a one bedroom apartment on his low salary that he can afford and rents it takes about a month Perfect. Jib moves out of the cafe and in with her new victim, John. At this point, after six and a half episodes, we are now drawing close to the halfway stage of this story. I warned you it was epic. So, Jib moves in with John, got the apartment, he's working nights, she tells him from the start, she's working in the cafe, she's working evenings and she goes away regularly for weekends and trips to Thailand and that he has to accept this, if he complains she will leave, puts him straight in his place, he's like a dog on a lead he is so happy he was going and visiting her and paying money now it's all free all he has is a little apartment hmm so really it's a bit of a win-win for him but he's young he hasn't got a clue about life doesn't know what's about to hit him <laughs> oh dear okay they settle down Jib is still doing the European trips, weekends, living it up, making lots of money. She's working in the cafe, the rooms upstairs making money, and they're importing gold every time they go to Thailand and making money. Jib, she's, 
she's learning quick. It's as if she wants to be the queen bee. But the next thing is a couple of the tribe have got nice houses and she's only got a one bedroom apartment with John. So I can see her working on that soon. Mm. Peter, still in the background. Jib has changed her bank account uh, for whatever reason and she hasn't reset up the maintenance payments. Peter's tried calling but she's not answering his calls. The tribe have told her, the longer you leave the divorce, the more his house is going to be worth, the more money you're going to get. Keep him in the background, don't talk to him, just leave him alone. Mm. She's not seeing her daughter, she's not seeing Peter, she's not talking to him. She's just fobbing him off and now she's stopped the maintenance. That's like a no-no because the long arm of the law and the system and the benefits will come and grab her very possibly she doesn't care she knows everything she's clever she's got her head screwed on hmm so vampire 2 the beginning <laughs> very quickly Jib is introduced by John to his mother um, as I say, his mother is elderly and frail and not very well. And John visits her every day and just helps out and sorts out some food for her. Pretty much cares for her. Jib, intrigued, starts going along, starts getting to know the mother and getting on really well. But the mother is, she's a little bit batty. She's not all there. Jib starts to notice um, at the flat when they're home that she's nosy she's going through his phone his everything she wants to know everything she notices notices that he has got um, cards bank cards with his mother's name on and tentatively approaches the subject with John what these are for um, that she'd just noticed when he'd left them on the side. John, naive, thick as anything, doesn't know, you know. It's his mum's bank account cards that he draws money out from the ATM to feed her and pay all her bills and he's got her online banking all set up to, and he pays all her bills and takes care of everything for the mum. Hmm. Jib you can see the brain working then the questions your mum's house is quite nice it's similar size to Peter's it's sort of a three bedroom but detached you know it's probably worth three hundred thousand pound three hundred sixty thousand US dollars she starts calculating in her head has she got a mortgage no does she have money savings yes and over the coming weeks, she managed to wheedle out of him. She's got about £50,000 in savings in her savings account. She's got about £45,000 in her bank account. She has money and pensions coming in more than she spends. Hmm. The cogs are starting to turn in her head. What happens next? We'll leave it there. You can have a think about this. Probably guess what's going to happen. Interesting. I'll catch you on the next episode. <laughs>